Tonight, some lawmakers are pushing to ban bump stocks in Ohio after the Las Vegas shooter was found with bump stocks, making his guns shoot more rounds without having to pull the trigger. Two News reporter Maytal Levy is asking questions about bump stock sales in the Miami Valley. I'm here outside the Miami Valley shooting grounds in Vandalia. Today I spoke with the owner and he tells me they quit selling those bump stocks years ago because of how dangerous they are. With one of these, if you can reload fast enough, you can produce roughly 300 rounds a minute. Miami Valley shooting grounds manager Rick Roberts has years of experience in law enforcement and gun sales. I've always felt them to be a gimmick. I think your average sport shooter doesn't need to fire that many rounds at one time. Roberts is also a certified armor. He makes weapons like AR-15s. He tells me bump stocks are too much of a liability. It's harder to control a bump fire gun. I mean, if, if you see them in action, they want to climb. That's why you won't find them at this range, even though they're perfectly legal. The owner has pulled them from the shelves. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, or ATF, approves kits and bump stocks like these. I won't be surprised if ATF pulls those letters on those, to be honest. It's just my opinion. But we don't sell them here. If someone were to come in here looking to buy a bump stock, would that raise any red flags to you? It would make me think, you know, what their, what their goal was with it. Um, as prior law enforcement, I, I worry about a lot of stuff when people come in. So. To read about the push to ban bump stocks in Ohio, go to WDTN.com. Mates Hall Levy, 5 on 2. New information.